<clears throat> uh, hi everyone, this is uh, Jonathan McFall uh, speaking. Uh, back to you again with CMIFX for another training video. And uh, this time it's on speed painting inside Photoshop. Okay, so uh, why are we doing this? Well, Photoshop, I'm sure all of you know Photoshop already, but even if you don't, you uh, should be able to follow along quite easily. Um, but even if you do know Photoshop, and you know every, most people in v VFX or games industry should know some Photoshop. Um, however, you know you might not know some of these particular skills I'm about to show you right now. Okay, so it's, it should be really interesting and fun, no matter which background you're coming from. Okay, so what's the idea behind this training video? Well, first of all, um, I, along with trying to make this kind of nice painting I made a couple of days ago, so this is a, a f um, this is a speed. Well, I call it like a speed painting concept art. Uh, there's no photographs, um, so I just started off from. I mean, there's a couple of Photoshop brushes, but literally, there's you know, it's not a collage of photographs. It's literally painted in with paint brushes. Okay. Um, and it looks quite believable, so I'm quite happy with that. But anyway, the idea behind it wasn't just to make a nice painting. It was actually to set down a series of ground rules which you could follow, and if you follow those ground rules, then you should be able to make a nice painting yourself. So you should be able to, first of all, you can follow along with how I make this one, but then after that, you should be able to apply exactly the same rules and theory to another one, okay? So make a completely different one, not just with the same color scheme and mountains. All right, so the idea was to come up with a simple set of rules and some guidelines to follow, and this should help you basically with uh, with the composition and the rule of thirds, for example, in the Fibonacci spiral, and then also some other rules, for example, to do with color, light, and perspective. So it was really like establishing not just the rules, like um, a simple set of rules for composition, uh, but also like the steps, like what you know, how um, how would you make this? And so, you know, a couple of days ago, I sat down and I thought, well. I kind of know how, I know how to do this, but I mean, what's the simplest straight line I could draw? You know, what's the simplest steps I could I could make to make this? Like, can I do it in five steps? Probably not, <laughs> but can I do it in fifteen steps? You know, what's the what's the what's the most direct approach to trying to make this? Okay, so that every step is achieving, you know, something to make it look a bit more realistic. Okay, so that was kind of the goal, to establish a series of steps and guidelines that you can follow. Right, so it should be fun and interesting and. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. <laughs> 